Good evening, wheelchair sports fans. Another exciting edition of Wheelchair Football tonight coming up. I am Jimmy Anderson. Let me explain that I made a mistake last week regarding the regular season. There are not four regular season games left. Rather, there are four game days left, two of which are reserved for the tournament. That means that there are only two more regulation season weeks. And we are going to kick it off right here with the first game of the second to last week with second to none going against the Pasadena Wildhawks. Job on the, the commentary stuff. Oh, thanks, man. I That's appreciate really that. Legit stuff. Well, I appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Yeah, just, I, I saw that the that last week's. That was yeah. awesome. Really? Yeah. I appreciate that. You really know your stuff. Oh, thanks. Good. Oh, you guys are great too. Kind of thanks, yeah. Thank you. And they're gonna try to prove that they're great too. I really appreciate that compliment. Uh, Luke McCusin right there. I guess he likes to go by the name Megatross. I didn't even realize that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first half highlights right here. Nice pass right there by Carlos Guerrero. Uh, David would be absent in the first uh, half of the game. He would come in later. Nice drive right there. Gets him close to the uh, end zone. And uh, no, I did not pay Luke to say any of those compliments, by the way. <laughs> go with the next drive. And now watch that. Trevor McHouston gets the sack. Last week he tried to call his own highlight reel and the number of highlights. Uh, he didn't call him in this game. I'm not sure if he's going to try calling him again. But in any case, that was a big highlight right there. As we uh, stick with the Wildhawks, a young upstart team going against second to none. And of course, they're really going to have to be on their game against second to none. And uh, that pass didn't quite uh, go the way they wanted it to. Now we're going to go here to the uh, uh, second to none. It would be fourth down in their own uh, red zone right now, trying to make the score. There's Eric. Nice pass right there, right up. Gets it to Zach McHouston. And that would put them first and goal, I do believe. Yes, there it was. Eric McHouston was playing quarterback. That would be Trevor centering. The McHouston family has been on fire all season. Watch this. Eric just runs it up, gets it into the end zone. Quick six right on the board. No extra point. Second to none. On top. And they're on top of the standings as well in the league. We'll talk to you about that later. That'll turn, determine tournament seeding as we go back to the Wildhawks right here. Once again, I believe that's Carlos Guerrero playing quarterback. Oh, I'm sorry. Rather, we're going back to the uh, second to none team, I should say. And there, I believe that's going to be Trevor playing quarterback. And I believe he played for only one play. And that's unfortunately why. Nice pick right there. That would give the Wildhawks great field positioning right here. They know they're going to have to play hard against second to none. Right, here comes the stab I was talking about. There it is. Now watch that. Anything you can do, I can do better. Eric kind of proved that right there. They picked it off, then second to none picked it right back. So it would be their ball once again. Nice defensive uh, slugfest we're seeing right here. There's Zach McHouston right up to Luke. He just goes right into the end zone. Smooth as silk, 13-0 in favor of second to none. The Wildhawks know they're going to have to get on the board. We're still in the first half, so there's still plenty of time for them. Snap once again to Carlos Guerrero looking for his man. Nice spiral, nice pass, and look at this. Great, I don't know your name. I'm terribly sorry. But uh, he would be caught right there by Luke. But they would get right into the red zone. They're right there in scoring position. They're going to have to make a count right here. Here comes the snap. Everybody trying to get up and trying to find a man and there it is <laughs> with a little bit of his, an assist from Zach McHugh to try to bat it. Instead batted it into the hands of the other team, made it 6-13. As we take a look at second half highlights right here. Now, this is kind of closer than I thought it would be with the Wildhawks. They know they've got to play tough defense. But once again, Carlos on quarterback. Look at that. Nice right there. He would pick that up. Bring it to close to midfield right here. 
But once again, we're going to take a look at second to none. And right now, as you see, this is first down and goal. Yeah. Yeah, no way that they're going to be stopped in their own end zone. They got it 26, 22 6. They got the extra point there. So the Wild Hawks know that they're in for a battle right here. They're going to have to start scoring, and they're going to have to start scoring soon. And unfortunately, it's for the Wild Hawks, it's picked off again. Look at that lateral. From Luke to Eric, the brothers, as I've said before, that play together, win together. And they, this foursome of the McHoustons, second to none, have been just that. I know I've made puns about their name before being second to none. With a name like that, you have a tall order. Watch this. Eric McHouston. Oh! Falls down. Knocks him right down. Wasn't a penalty, however, as both kind of bumped into each other. That would be Luke. Now, you see the clock there, 9-12 left. I mean, you know that the Hawks are getting a little worried right here. Eric McHouston. Watch this nice spiral. Nice pass. There it is into the end zone. Luke gets it. 26-6. A 20-point lead with less than 10 minutes to go. The Wild Hawks have been great players, but their record hasn't quite been that good. Again, great players. Unfortunately, they've had some bad breaks. Here comes another pass. Nice. Now, listen. Now, the, wheel, the whistle did not blow there, so the play is still good. So he's, that's going to be uh, oh, Soto, I think, is his last name. There it is. Joel Soto. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. And that's Johnny Martinez making the call right there, making sure everyone knows to play to the whistle. And this is also a rule that Zach McHuston, of course, is our head referee. Here comes Mitchell on QB. There it is, right into the end zone, made it 33-12. And I can't even remember if they got the extra point. I think they, they did. It really doesn't matter. 33-12. It's becoming a curb stop. I don't believe it. Oh, and that almost appeared to be another sack, but instead... That would be Soto into the end zone again. That would make it 18-26. They're going to have to score, and they're going to have to score fast. Or rather, 33, rather. I'm sorry. We got the score right. That's all right. That would make it 39-18. And I do believe that that is the highest regular season score we have seen. One point shy of 40. But you know what? With that compliment that Luke McHouston gave me, I'm going to give him the extra point. Let's just call it 40-18. <laughs> That's not an official score. The official score is 39-18. But in any case, the Wild Hawks have been having some bad luck in the league. As I said, they're great players. Don't get me wrong, as you can see. Especially against second to none, though. Just about every team has had bad luck at one point or another. But there you see them all high-fiving. Everybody congratulating one another. We've had a great game right there, but unfortunately it didn't go the Wild Hawks' way. It went in favor of second to none. And I mentioned tournament standings. Now, pretty much the first round bye for second to none will be clinched if they win next week. Now, the Wild Hawks, unfortunately, have pretty much been eliminated from a first round bye, but it's a six-team elimination tournament. All teams are eligible to win the Louis Cantu Bowl. Next time on Wheelchair Football tonight, we're going to have another exciting game. And it's going to be the Texas Bliss without a win against the end zones, who have three and one. Will the Bliss be able to come back from that winless record? We're going to find out next time on Wheelchair Football tonight. Until then, for now, this is Jimmy Anderson signing off for Old School Media and Wheelchair Football tonight. <laughs>